Hello and welcome to this Adobe Premiere Elements 2020 tutorial thing. So today I'm going to show you how to get, basically just do green screens. So if we go on project assets here, we can have a little gif here that I'm just going to drag in quickly and it just says subscribe. Uh, I'll just show you something special, but it just says subscribe, like notifications and all that stuff. So as you can see in the background now, it's got a green screen around it, which is not what you want. So let's get a picture of a beach here and just put that there. So we can see also if we put that along there, it's just got the beach in the background here, but it's behind the green screen. So it's not exactly how you want it. But the way you change that is to go along this lovely little right side here and press FX and then you should be able to search for key or if you don't want to search you can just scroll down and it is just here keying and it's called green screen key i think you can also do it for chroma key but green screen is the best you can do it for blue screen as well if you have a blue screen background but the reason it's green and blue is because the pigments in your human skin is the most completely different from um, green so and blue so little fact there so you get a green screen screen green screen key even put that on the green screen and boom it's already got rid of it so you can see on the beach background it's gone there oh look there's the bells going wiggly anyway um so yeah you got that little thing there and it's absolutely fine and then also in the black screen it works and you can see it's kind of a little bit fuzzy around the edges so if you want to change that you can change the cut off and yeah that didn't work did it um Hang on, which one is it? The threshold? Yeah, threshold. You can change that, make the smoothing high, change the mask, which you don't really want to do. Basically just, like if it's, say this hand here, if it's got the three lines in it and all that stuff, because it's a white background, it just does the white. So that's not very helpful, but if you ever want to do it like that, then you can. So, yeah, that's been Adobe Pebble Elements 2020. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.